Hey guys, Gracious here. Today we are doing episode one of the Spigot development plugin series. Today we're doing a simple command and a simple event. The command is going to be a fly command, and the event is going to be a when a player joins the server, it sends a message to them. So an on player join event. So let's get started. Uh, first, we need to go here. We need so we're going off of the uh, plugin that we made in the last episode. So if you want to follow along fully, you're gonna have to watch episode 0 0.5 to be able to, you know, follow completely. All right, or just go ahead and copy whatever's here. But you're gonna have to go over here, new package. This is gonna be dot commands. Alright, then you're also going to right click that, new class, and we're going to name it fly command. Alright, so this here is going to uh, implement command executor. Alright, now uh, it's going to of course have you import it, so import it, and then you're going to see that it uh, it's right under the fly command, alright? That's because we are missing a function, alright? So you're gonna hover over it and add unimplemented methods. Click that, okay? So it's gonna give you a public boolean on command, right? So we're gonna change command center from arg0 to center, command to cmd, there. Uh, string is going to be label, and string array is going to be args. Alright, we don't need this here. Alright, so, we have the simple method here, alright? This is what's going to be needed for any command that you want to make, is this, the public boolean on command, alright? So first, we're going to be doing uh, seeing if the sender of the command is a player. All right. So it's going to be a, if <coughs> sender uh, instance of player, which you're going to have to import player. All right. And then you're going to go and open your curly brackets. <clears throat> and then we're going to make sure that the player is going to be the player. So player player equals player sender. So this is just pretty much because we made sure that the uh, sender was a player, this is just saying that the sender is actually a player, so that when we do player, it is the exact player that sent it, all right? So, now we're gonna be seeing if they have permission. You do not have to do this part if you do not want to, but for this ser uh, for this episode, I'm going to be doing that, or for this command, all right? So we're going to do an if player, dot has permission all right now you can you can name this whatever you want to okay I'm gonna do tutorial plugin dot fly you can name this whatever you want like I said all right so there we go mm. <clears throat> now we are going to be getting if the player is able to fly or not, alright? Which is going to be a another if statement. Which is going to be a if player dot get in a flight. Alright. So this is saying if they are allowed to fly at the moment, then they will not be able to after they run this command. Alright? Sorry. So this means 
uh, we're gonna have to set allow flight to false and then we're gonna send them a message uh, message and then if you want a color for it it's chat color dot and then whatever is org dot bucket dot chat color so we are going to be doing a red we we'll do a dark red that is an org chat color org bucket one and you're going to have to put a plus and then your parentheses and that's where you, where you put whatever you want to be sent so we, I'm going to be put client has been disabled alright so that's pretty much saying if they have access to fly after they run it they won't but now we have to go under here where I am now type else open curly brackets again and then we're gonna do player dot set allow flight true if I can spell and then we are also going to send the player again a message that is going to be a chat color dot dark uh, was that a Okay, yeah, good. Dark green, and we're gonna put Hold on guys, sorry I misspelled a few things. There we go. Uh and then we can go under the if they have access, so we can go here, do else curly brackets and we can send them a command or uh, if you didn't do the permissions you do not have to do this part but since I have I'm going to be doing clear dot send message uh, chat color dot dark red uh, do not Okay, command is now finished, but now we have to go into our main class, whatever you named it. And then, if you want, you can do, uh, you can make a public void register commands and put it into the on enable, but you do not have to, okay? But I have, just so that all the commands are together and not everywhere. And you're gonna do git command, and then it's gonna be a fly dot set executor and then new and then whatever you named the command uh, the class that has that command in it so we named ours fly command now you're gonna have to import it there you go now you have to go to the plugin YML all right then you have to go in under here do commands. Alright. Go under here. Tap. Tab once. Then type the command. So fly. Alright. Space. And then tab under again. Or enter under. And then tab over. And you can set a description for it. Uh, and then we're going to. I'm just going to put. Let's you. Why? Right. So that should be working. So what we're gonna do is we are going to right-click, export, jar file, tutorial plugin bin tutorial dot jar. Yep, that's good. So we're gonna finish it. All right. Yes, that's fine. And guys, I will get back to you once I get the server up and running, and I am in the server. Give me one second. Alright guys, I am back. So as you can see, 
it should have said in the console of the server plugin enabled all right if it does not say plugin enabled if you have it in the code here under main and then when it is enabled here if you do not have that or if if that's in there and you do not have it in your console then that means that there was something wrong with your code if you scroll up there will be an error code up there uh, it should be simple hopefully if not if you want you can join my uh, discord server which will be in the description below um, and I can help you or in the comment section I can help you uh, whatever you'd like to do but if it's if it says enabled right here you should be good so let's go ahead and head over to minecraft connect to localhost and then we will see if it would like to work which hopefully it does all right guys so we are in right so if I do slash fly, has been disabled. I can't fly anymore. Okay, even if I'm in creative, I can't fly anymore. But if I do it one more time, play has been enabled, and it works. All right. So if I do it again, I can't fly. If I do it again, I can. All right. Now what? Let's say I'm not off because at the moment I am. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna deop myself. Okay. If I do slash fly now. You do not have permission to use this command, and it did not do anything. I'm still flying because at the last I seen, or last I did it, uh, it was enabled. So that means that I can still fly because it did not actually go through. So that means your command worked. Okay? So that's good. Alright, let's head over back to code, the coding, and we will work on a player join event. Alright? So, here we go. Then you're also going to want to make a new package that is uh, dot events, all right? Which is where we're going to put our on player join event. So new class, and then you can name it whatever. I'm going to do it. I'm going to name it on player join, and then we are going to implement it with listener. listener all right of course you're gonna have to import it of course so make sure you import the org.bucket.event not any of the others as I don't know what they do uh, just the org.bucket.event okay and that's the one you want so then you're gonna come down you're gonna do app event handler all right you're gonna have to import that uh, also, I believe, after we get our public void on player join. Uh, and then it's a player join event E. So we'll do that. Uh, yes, you will have to, to import the event handler, which is org.bucket.event get that and then the player join event which is also a org.bucket.event but it's also a dot player so import that okay that works so now we are uh, we're gonna have to do like what we did in the fly command but we do not have to check if it's a player because it's event it's an event when you join the server so you have to be a player when you do it all right so we're going to have to say player player equals event dot get player all right that's going to get the player from the event that's being used right so we're going to go down what's this area that's good that's fine and we're going to do player dot send message chat color dot let's say blue right we'll do dark blue all right I'm gonna say welcome there are 
And then we're going to put how many players are on the server. So you're going to do plus player dot get server dot get on line players dot size, right? Then you're going to do plus on line. Okay, so that should get how many players are actually on the server at the moment. So, alright, so now we're going to have to head over to the main class again, alright? We're going to have to register this um, event, or yeah, we have to register this event right now. So, we're going to go ahead and main class. That's going to get do a, uh, if you want, you can make your own register events or put it up in the on enable. That's your choice. Does not matter. Whatever you like to do. But this to me is easier. So we're going to do get server dot get plugin manager dot uh, register register uh, events new on player join because that's what we named it and then this and then of course import it which is going to be the events on player join And I believe we are done with that. So now we export it. All right, like last time. Jar next finish. All right, and I now have to put this in the server and I will be back with you in just a second. All right guys, as you can see right here, the plugin has successfully enabled again, so we will connect to the server, and as you can see, uh, welcome, there are one online, so if you wanted that to look better, you can go in here, there are, uh, you can do there, is uh, how many player um, players online? Okay, that would make it better. But uh, I'll be exporting this, putting it in the server for the next episode. But this is the episode today, unfortunately. It's not much. Next episode, I'll be doing more. But I'd like your suggestions on what the next episode should be. It can be really anything. Just comment in the comment section below. I can make whatever. Um, so, yeah guys. I will see you in the next episode.